Got in the car today, my ear is not working. I, I know, it was like, oh. And so I can take off this wig and take out these. back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be a sunday reset i plan to wake up early i had curled my wig and everything last night i'm like we're about to be productive today girl i didn't go to sleep until like three four o'clock i was doing like a late night bible study at like midnight one o'clock for an hour and i didn't go to sleep until like three or four o'clock and then i woke up at noon so here we are it is 1 30 it's actually monday today i am recording my sunday reset on monday and if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so yesterday i got off work at 7 a.m which was sunday went to sleep didn't wake up until like three o'clock and posted my video did some work for my um hair business and things like that this hair is not for my hair business but yeah did some work for that and did a little bit of laundry cook me something to eat and just lay down and kind of trying to catch up on all my youtube girlies i'm like one to two months behind on all my youtube people especially mckenna walker i'm watching a video from two months ago on her like needs to get it together so i wanted this to be some type of aesthetically pleasing type of sunday reset it's not this is a realistic sunday reset with me and we just gonna get into it so it's 1 31 it's monday like i said i'm doing my sunday reset on monday because you know just explained it um i just tried to go to the office i just got some amazon packages and stuff delivered don't know if y'all can see got some right there um tried to go to the office it is memorial day today and i tried to go to the office to pick up a package that they left in the office it was delivered today and it's seven items in there and i really really wanted that um one two three four five six yeah i got seven items i don't need anything today but yeah so i guess they closed early i don't know i'm like why are y'all closed y'all can at least have somebody in there that don't make no sense but um yeah whatever i do need to go grocery shopping um our aldi just opened up here in little rock um i used to shop at aldi when i was in college i went to um a state in jonesboro we had one there and then i also used to go we used to go to the one in memphis because we used to be in memphis almost every weekend when i was in college so, so i plan to wake up early like eight o'clock get to cleaning and then around this time i would have liked to be inside of the grocery store um but i'm gonna have to wait for my boyfriend to wake up because he just got off work this morning so why did i get inside my car and drive up to the office to try to go get my amazon packages out of the little amazon locker try to turn on the air and air not working girl it's 88 degrees it is going to get up to 90 degrees today 90 degrees so yeah i'm not going to wear my car um this is the third time that this has happened i'm not sure really what's wrong um the first time my air didn't work for like a day when i got off of work at seven in the morning it didn't work and then by the time i got home it popped on so the second time it was out for like five days like four to five days and i don't know what's wrong and then it just randomly pops back on so got in the car today my ear is not working um it's turned all the way up i don't know what's wrong so i do have an oil change scheduled for wednesday and i told them the little the guy on the phone or whatever that my ear has been doing this funny how i mention it and then it starts doing it again so hopefully they fix it because it's summertime it's too damn hot to be outside in your car and riding around with no ear in there like the memes they'd be like uh them people they be flying <laughs> You better watch out for these people with no air with the windows down flying that's gonna be me okay if my ear don't get uh fixed so yeah i'm about to go ahead and start cleaning um like i said I'm, I'm not going anywhere because it's hot as hell even with the windows down it's still too hot so i'm about to go ahead and start cleaning i do want to start with my i wanted to start with the kitchen i dumped out everything in my refrigerator because 
I don't have anything anyway and I just I just completely cleared it out because we're about to buy all new stuff um I'm about to start in my bedroom first because y'all know sheets usually take the longest to wash and dry we're going to start there and then after that we're going to migrate into the kitchen and then hopefully by then my boyfriend is up because I really want to do this like now because I am trying to get this video done in like one day so that was the whole reason of me trying to wake up early but anyways we're going to start in my bedroom so most of y'all know that i recently got duvet um the first time i tried the duvet if you guys remember it did not work out well at all so i decided to try it again with the actual duvet insert because it had the ties my tie doesn't like button or snap together so I'm not going to actually wash the duvet insert because I just got this a couple weeks ago or whatever and I don't need to do that. And I wanted to say I'm glad I decided to try a duvet again. Definitely recommend getting the insert like you guys said. Um, I just like the duvet better than the comforter, especially the comforter that, comforter that I had. It was very heavy and bulky, which this one is still kind of heavy as well like it may be a little heavy for the summertime the insert that is but i like it because i keep my air on really really low like 69 70 and even my boyfriend came in here after we got back from texas last week he was like oh my gosh it's cold in here so it works for me when i'm sleeping okay i figured out a way <laughs> to make it easier since i got on nails i just untie it and then i just pull it and then it comes undone so Look in my eyes, can you vandalize, do you feel alive? Look in my eyes, do you vandalize, do you feel alive? Look in my eyes, we both know it's wrong, but you're still going in wrong, even when you're going to die. Okay, now that I am done at back in my floor cleaning the perimeter of my bed, my sheets are in the washer. Um, they got about, got about 39 minutes left. I put it on Brilliant White and that was about an hour and something. So I still got 38 minutes. Okay, while my sheets are in the washing machine, I think I got about maybe 25, 20, 25 minutes left on that. I'm gonna go ahead and work on my bed some more i already vacuumed around the bed um i didn't do too much i vacuumed the floor as well but i didn't want to do too much because i am about to unbox my new mattress um as you can see i've had this mattress topper for a while um this is the way that you're actually supposed to use it but my dog freaking <laughs> ate that up my old dog and then obviously i've just had it for a while so you can see the color has definitely changed on that so this is wore out in raggedy and done for and i've had this mattress here for about i think i got this in like 20 what 19 so a long time ago um 
it definitely served its purpose but obviously the reason why i'm using that mattress topper is because this one isn't as comfortable to me anymore so i do have a new mattress and that does bring us to today's sponsor thank you so much novella for sponsoring this video if i am pronouncing that correctly so i'm about to go ahead and unbox the new mattress take this one out struggles of living alone right here in your face folks okay period, 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 period. I don't know what's the top or the bottom okay this mattress has a breathable knitted cover, bamboo charcoal foam, and individual pocket spring. The firmness is medium, which I'm actually okay with. I actually like, I don't like a soft bed, but also I don't want a hard bed, so that's why I feel like medium is perfectly fine for me. It does fit the human body curve and balances out your body weight. I'll show you that in just a second. This will be the perfect addition to your bedroom if you're looking for a foam hybrid mattress with a lot of flexibility. Um, I absolutely love it. If you do have a spouse, or anything it is a great motion isolation for undisturbed sleep me and my boyfriend like if i get up out the bed he ain't gonna feel me move if he get out the bed i ain't gonna feel him move <laughs> so i absolutely love that um i've been sleeping on it now for about for about four or five days um and i absolutely love it as you can see i'm bouncing on the bed you can't really you know deserve nobody else so i absolutely love it don't forget to use my coupon code it will be down in the description box below my coupon code is ake15 it will give you 15 percent off the entire site and as always thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video i will have everything down in the description box for you i know all right so finally got this freaking mattress unboxed and set up and everything it feels really nicely um i am going to let it kind of sit out for a minute i got about 35 minutes left on my sheets drying so i got my sheets on low so i'm probably gonna have to run it again because i don't want to mess up that duvet cover i did see maybe some people like they probably wasn't following the directions on how to wash and dry it i didn't even look at the directions but the directions lord jesus i didn't look at the directions uh, i'm just gonna tumble dry it on low like low heat and just go from there i got it on a gentle cycle so i'm gonna let this kind of sit out for a minute to make sure it's you know it's fluffy as it gets and all of that um we are going to go ahead and move on to the kitchen because my kitchen is a mess and i do need my boyfriend to wake up because i forgot it's memorial day and i hope aldi doesn't close up early um they regularly close at eight o'clock so i'm not sure if they're going to close early or not and i do really want to go to aldi um to see what they got here locally for grocery shopping because it is you know cheaper groceries so it's 341 right now i just tried to facetime him he didn't answer so i'm about to go ahead and kind of clean my kitchen up and then after that we'll just kind of clean up elsewhere i don't want to spend too much time cleaning on this because i was originally going to do a clean with me video but i'm like i don't feel like in all those angles and that'll take so long so Play with me, babe, play with me, baby, play with me, babe, play with me, baby, 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 play
Alright, so it is 5.20 in the afternoon now. Um, I've done my bedroom, my living room, and my kitchen. I need to do my office. My office isn't bad. I just gotta put stuff away that I use to like do my hair and my desk is a mess. Um, I guess the bathroom is still pretty good. I just gotta sweep. I'm gonna go ahead and mop in there again. Um, other than that, haven't been using it, haven't had any guests. My bathroom, my closet is a mess, but I really need to go to the grocery store because I wanna go to Aldi. And tomorrow, I get my like real hair done, like color corrected. I'm gonna get it curled, all of it. That's at 1 30, 1 30 to 4. And I really want to like start editing the vlog that you're watching now today. Like, I don't want this to be like a two day thing or whatever. So, I tried to call Aldi to make sure that they're even open today or like to see when they close because, like I said, it's 5 20 and it's Memorial Day. And yeah, so I think I'm about to go downstairs, walk Prince, he's standing by the door. He always let me know when he gotta use the bathroom, he's standing by the door. So I'm gonna take him out, and then I'm gonna take my keys down there and see if my ear is gonna like pop back on or not. Um, it's still hot as hell outside. It's, it's 91 degrees right now. So I'm like, even though, you know, all these just up the street, like 10, 15 minutes, still, it's, it's gonna be a hot 10, 15 minutes. So. I'm about to go try my ear and I, and I need gas too. So when I go to Aldi, I'm gonna have to stop at the gas station because I don't have any gas. So it's just a lot. My man is not answering the phone. Pretty sure he's still asleep, but it's like, I need some food today. <laughs> like I need some food. I don't have anything in my fridge to eat today. All right, hey y'all, update. It is 6.13. I'm currently in my car. Um, I got my sun visor right here cause the sun is beaming girl. But I'm about to go ahead and go to Aldi and see if they're open, hopefully they are. I got 41 miles left so I'm about to get like $10 of gas. Um, this is so ghetto but I got this little bitty fan from Shein that they had sent me. So this is what I'm using to literally give me some freaking air up in here because my air is not blowing at all. Like it's literally on but it's not blowing out. This is the third time this has happened. Um, I go, like I said, get my car oil change and all of that on Wednesday. So hopefully they can figure it out and get it together because it's too damn hot. My car literally says it's 105 degrees, like burning up. So I'm about to roll with this one right in my face. It's like USB. It don't need the USB power port, but I'm trying to keep it charged up so it don't <laughs> go dead. But I'm about to go ahead and roll down my windows and then just ride to Sam's Club like that. And then I usually have my little, I uh, open up my sunroof as well while I'm driving on the road to um, circulate some air because my boyfriend is still not answering the phone. And like I said, I have no food in the house and I'm starving. So I'm about to go ahead and go. My air just came back on y'all randomly. I still had this little fan going, but like I told y'all, my air just comes in and out. Like it'll randomly come back on and it'll randomly go out. So now it's back on, thank God, because I'm hot as hell. I got me some Chick-fil-A. Y'all know I got my drink and I'm about to go home now because everything closed. All right, I am back home, obviously. And um, I think I told y'all, how about my air gonna come back on? Literally, I went to Chick-fil-A, go to Aldi. Some people walked up to the store and like the door didn't open so they looked. So I guess they closed at six as well. Um, went to Sam's Club to try to get gas. They closed at six, nobody there. So luckily Chick-fil-A was still open. I just got me some Chick-fil-A, came back home. And as soon as I was leaving our Chick-fil-A at the stoplight, my air popped back on. So my best friend was like, what the heck is going on? Like my car is still new. I literally got my car. I got my car in 2021 and my car is a model 2022, year model. I shouldn't be having no problems like this, okay? But my friend Janae said that her um sister she had a kid optima and her kid optima did that as well and i went and looked online like searching stuff or whatever about like why my car could be doing that and it seems to be a reoccurring thing with kids so baby <laughs> i text my best friend i said let me find out about to get a new car for christmas this year because baby i will i will and they've been on my a about trading in my car um i wouldn't get another kia though um and i want to keep this car until i actually get my dream car um my dream car is a range rover evoke like the sport model but i was hearing up and down things about that like it's basically like bad for like maintenance and stuff like you will have to get a lot of things like fixed or whatever on it um so that scared me or shied me away from getting or wanting a range rover so then my other dream car um the only other car that i would like or see myself driving um kennedy Simone actually got it if she still has that car um with the red seats the porsche that's what i want 
I want the Porsche. Um, I don't know if you pronounce it Macon or Macan, whatever, but I want that model. Um, I know they got a Porsche Cayenne, if I'm pronouncing that right. I know Porsche, I didn't even pronounce like that either. It's something. Um, I forgot what the man at the actual dealership said. But yeah, I'm like, let me find out about to get my new car this year. <laughs> so I do plan on going to test drive a Range Rover and a Porsche as well. Um, not on time soon. Like sometime this year, I definitely want to see, you know, which one I really, really want. Um, but yeah, I hear good things about ranges. I hear bad things about it. It's just, you know, kind of 50, 50. And plus I only drive from point A to point B. So I'm like, why is my Kia even doing this to me? Like I literally go to work and come home and go to a few stores. <laughs> so yeah. And I've taken one like big trip on my car and that was when I went to Dallas. That's it. It's four hours. So yeah, that's annoying. Um, but I'm about to cast this music to all three of my tvs since i have roku on all three of them i'm about to put it on in my bedroom about to put it on in my youtube studio room and we're gonna do my living room um, we're about to go clean my guest room out right now because i can't do anything i can't go grocery shopping i can't do anything that i wanted to do for the rest of this sunday reset so yeah I just knew something. It's too good to be true. Every time I try to get up and plan my day, this is why I don't plan nothing. I just go with the flow because nothing ever works out for me. All right, so my bedroom was planned. My living room asked me 6362. Put that on. To my place. Y'all know this my song. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah, hey. You song? Been calling you all day. I've been asleep. What time you go to sleep? I'm sleep at nine. Mm. When I, I went to when I went to the gym when I got off. Oh, okay. This morning came came home, showered. I laid slept on the couch, then laid down for real, for real. Mm. I never see my alarm because I usually get up right now. Yeah, you do. That's what I've been telling. Janae. In the vlog. Yep. Yep. Recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> the vlog no, you ain't been answering. <laughs> and I told him you usually be up by now. Uh, Negro. That's what I told you now. Say he must have went to sleep late or something. <laughs> dryer and my duvet cover and sheets and pillowcases and stuff is rolled up like a little burrito like <laughs> this is hilarious so i think i want to fold my pants along that side i'm going to go on amazon and get some dividers Hey y'all, today is, it's the next day. <laughs> it's Tuesday, May 28th, 1124. I am with Bay. obviously you can see I'm in his truck. He's getting gas right now, then we're gonna go to Audi. Um, basically finishing up my Sunday, Monday reset. Um, it seemed like every time I try to plan out something about how I want my day to go, it never go that way. So, we're gonna go to Audi. I get my hair done at 11.30, um, so I'm gonna be starting a new vlog for that that's not gonna be in the reset vlog. It's 11.24 Audi, right across the parking lot though. So hopefully that takes about maybe at most 35 minutes to do that because he is trying to like clean out his truck. So by 12, I would like to be where he's like cleaning out his truck. We're gonna go to Splash. Um, they like clean it out for you. Usually take about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and I do gotta go back home and obviously put up my groceries and take my braids out. I got like 11 braids in my head, so I'm gonna have to have him help me take these braids out. And I do wanna go, okay. What's he doing? <laughs> I do wanna go, I need to go to the bank as well to take out cash. I like to pay everybody in cash, so I asked her was it okay? Cause she used style seats and like style seats be trying to charge her card and stuff, so I'm just gonna pay her cash. Um, so yeah, everything is right here though. Aldi right there across the street. 
Chase is right there across the street and then Splash is the only thing that's kind of far so I am trying to we were supposed to get up at 9 but he let me sleep till 10 so yeah we're running a little bit not really behind schedule behind schedule what is he doing what's up you shaking us oh my fault <laughs> my bad y'all my beat my beat <laughs> anyways yeah that's a little update for today You goofy as hell! I want to talk to you when we get to Audi. Good looking out. I said thanks for looking out. <laughs> you wanna be like me someday? <laughs> I'm trying to push my lead. Uh uh. I'm vlogging. Count nugget meal. All right. Ketchup. With ketchup. Berry cherry lemonade. And with berry, berry cherry lemonade. No ice. With no ice. Chicken like two days in a row. And then, Period. And then also, let me get uh, a. We hearing that, boy. Go ahead. my hearing aid, boy. Hey, hey. I'm talking about. Mm hmm. It smells good. You want to strong your drink? No, you don't even use straws. That's any man. I'm like, what's wrong with y'all? Chick, chick. Now we'll talk to y'all when we get to the house. All right, it's 12:42. We're back from everywhere we went. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick little Audi haul so I can put this up and eat, and so I can take off this wig and take out these braids for my hair appointment. Hair appointment is at one, it's 12.42, so I got a little bit of time. I got some, I got some hamburger buns. And I got bread, cause I need some more bread. <laughs> I wanted to try these garlic knots, savory garlic, um, like little, uh, what, biscuits or bread. It is three grams of protein, 120 calories. They look good. So, I've never had these before. Comment down below if you guys had these. I'm trying not to tell you how I like them. I got grapes, strawberries, unhealthy snacks. What is that? Hey, I got crescent rose, croissant. Got some more cheese, needed that. And then I definitely could have made this myself, but it's just apples, cheese, grapes, and Ritz crackers. So I'm gonna try it, see how I like it, because I know the um actual, what is it, the actual Lunchable ones uh, got a recall on them, and y'all had said that, but I had already bought them at that point when I saw the video, but yeah. I saw it on Shea Room. So this one looks like a really good brand, and then I'm just probably gonna buy my own I always buy my own cheese, grapes, and apples and stuff. So I'm gonna make my own little Lunchable because I do got some little bitty containers like this. And we also bought some more um, meal prep containers as well. And then I got me a Black Angus ribeye steak. It was $11, looks real good. I like the ones they sell at Target. And then I got um, this assorted pack of pork chops for $8.49. Put like a lot in there, they look really good. And my total was like 40, $43. So not bad. I always go shopping weekly, but I'm trying to just shop for the week. And since I'm spending like $43, I do gotta grab a few more items. So I think my budget per week will be no more than like $70, $80 because I don't wanna spend no more than that eating every week because it's only me and I usually eat the same things anyway. And I do like to buy in bulk, most of like my pantry items. So I should be able to 
live off of about $70, $80 or less per week on groceries by myself. All right, I look crazy, but this is the before of how my hair looked. And I'm about to go get my hair color corrected, probably curled, um, ends trimmed, all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all. I guess I'm just going to put it in this vlog and then just have the other vlog be what I want it to be. So we're going to finish off this Sunday reset, get my hair done, okay? Okay. <laughs> to you when my hair was first like really green and blue oh, yeah Lord, i would have been like i don't know yes <laughs> like it was bad dang i wish i had enough money to book an appointment every week to get my hair washed it I feels know, so good like, when y'all do my house, it yeah i can wash it i'm like yes what? Yes. See how it's different shades? That's why Ooh, I always do. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Y'all yeah, That's the side I did first. Oh, nice. I'm just glad I'm not 20,000 <laughs> colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, it's gonna be real pretty. Oh, yes. And deal with it light. It's gonna be like this. See how it's even all Yes. Over. And no green and blue. None. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty. It's like a beige I'm flow. excited. So cute. I know when I be out, uh, my boyfriend be saying that to people like, get the camera. I be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a I'm horrible like, vlogger. I be in the moment. You to do I'm, I'm over here like, hold on. I show me in the moment. Mm -hmm. Every time. You still getting used to it. Mm -hmm. That's why I like when I'm out, cause I mean, I've been vlogging for a while, but I like how we was at Aldi together. Yeah. Because usually when I'm vlogging alone, people just, you know, we look at her and yeah. I'm like, that just makes me uncomfortable. Girl. So. Yeah, kudos to you for doing it. Cause I, I know. real special. Cause I'll be looking at other people's vlogs and I'm like, dang, they be vlogging in here and there. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I just need to get over it and just get the content. And cause people honey, know what you're doing. Cause yeah, it's so popular that's now. what I'm saying. So I really shouldn't be, not, cause girl, when I used to uh, go to tech, I would whip that camera out everywhere. And I'm like, no one knew what I was doing then. Everybody right. know what you're doing now. Why am I so nervous? And then you over here shouting. So, <laughs> I know, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I no, should be looking. No reason. I like, ooh yeah. Isn't that pretty? I'm that? about to cut up. That's <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part. I told him, I said, I can't wait till I get there and she scratch my scalp. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best part. I'll be at home trying to scratch my scalp. I'm like, this is how yes, it's supposed to be. It don't feel the same. Is that your phone? <laughs> <laughs> don't be talking about my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to talk about my ringtone like that. Do be like that. I ain't never talk. heard it's that one. Awesome. <laughs> you ain't got to talk about me like that. Lord, my it's gonna wake me up got, on my sleep, honey. He got, he got one that I ain't never heard either too, but it's on the iPhone. And I'm like, who has that? It's that <laughs> ringtone. You're like, wow, it's you picked so up both funny. Yes, I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Just 
feels so light. Y'all ain't got to move green no more. Mm-hmm. We I'm about to get gas right now. I'm at Sam's Club, which I could have just went to Kroger's because it's the same dang price. Oh, shoot. I lose my dang cards. All right. Got my receipt. Time to scan on my Fetch app to get my points. I will put my QR code right here on the screen and it's always linked down below. I'm almost to another $50 gift card and this time I'm going to cash out to Sephora. I did, what did I do? I did Ikea and I did Amazon before. I'm gonna throw it away in my little trash can. And just like that, 25 points. And sanitizer. It's 9 16. I'm about to. Um, I walked Prince to the mailbox earlier to check my mail. I'm about to put on a vlog. Probably McKenna Walker to finish watching her or either Chelsea, Janae. I need to catch up. But I'm about to open up my mail. I got a lot. And I got a lot from my insurance company. Oh, this is cute. Okay, I need to finish this vlog that I started. McKenna Walker. I'm looking at, so I got this app on my phone. Um, what is it called? I just got done cleaning up my mess. I'm trying to do better at that. Um, when I cook, I am gonna try to clean up my mess while I'm cooking. Um, it just saves so much time and instead of getting backed up on a lot of dishes. But I got this video, not video, this app called Vid IQ about YouTube. I showed y'all my, what's on my iPhone app? I mean, video. What am I talking about? <laughs> and this uh, vidIQ, it just gives you like tips and tricks or whatever of like growing your channel and stuff like that. If you guys are like new to YouTube, I usually use it for um, content ideas because they do give you three random like content ideas or whatever each day. And anyways, one of the little lessons or whatever they were doing was when you're on YouTube, like they put my thumbnail amongst other people thumbnails and it's kind of like would you click on your thumb like which thumbnail would you click on so that just made me think of this i got my tv on i just turned it on and basically my thumbnail is up there and then like mckenna walker and then they got uh chelsea chelsea don't put no words on hers she just do the pictures and then this vlog is that one's really cute and then like destiny's she has hers so it's kind of like you know try to make your thumbnail stand out i guess or like is it clickable so i kind of want to start doing thumbnails like this one right here that one that first one i like stuff like that and that's what i'm going to try to get into so but you know some people keep it simple some people you know people do what they want to do but i don't know i think i want to kind of like change up mine a little bit like literally alexis she just do you know the weekly vlog and she just put in a few pictures like that you know just just looking at different things like that and seeing what I click on. And Leah's face, she normally just do four pictures with the weekly vlog on there. Um, so basically, that's what I've been doing as well. And then I like how McKenna did hers like that. So that's, you know, 
I just be looking at stuff like that. Let me go to my. It's so weird seeing me on like TV. So yeah, like when I go to my channel, basically I'm just trying to see, you know, do my thumbnail stand out. This thumbnail that I just did, I feel like that could have been better, like that first one right there. Um, the Shein one, I think that's fine. This living alone one, I think that's fine as well. I kind of been tossing back and forth if I want to do five pictures or four pictures. Um, so I'm, I've been trying to do like this Sunday night reset. I did four pictures. I like the vibe of that, but I also like to show a lot about what's going to be in the blog. So my living alone weekly series, excuse that beeping, I've been doing five pictures. So comment down below if y'all like the five pictures. Sometimes I do six, two, four. Yeah, sometimes I do six if it's like a lot. But here lately, I just try to stick to five. But tell me if y'all like five or four, because I feel like, I don't know, I like the way four look. But I also may just be, you know, psyching myself out. I like the way five look as well, but four definitely kind of pops a little more. So tell me if y'all like four pictures of five. But I'm about to put on this vlog uh, that I didn't get finished watching from McKenna. I've been getting a lot of love of my hair. Um, and different lighting is like definitely different, like a different tone, I guess you can say. Um, I didn't want anything too bright like I used to have, like I told y'all in my last vlog or whatever. But in the light, if you saw me on Instagram, which a lot of y'all do, a lot of y'all been DMing me and stuff, I've been DMing y'all back. But like, it's like different in different lighting. So obviously more light, it's a lot brighter. And then like this, it's a little bit darker. So I like it. Um, when I first left the chair, I never liked my hair immediately right when I leave the chair. Um, so it just I always just have to grow on me, especially because I haven't had my hair blonde in a minute, but I absolutely love it. Um, she did a really good job. Vibes was good. We talked the whole entire time. Um, like it was, it was just amazing. She was really, really nice. Can't wait to go back to her. Uh, oh Lord, I'm exhausted girl. Um, and I'm so pissed off. I go, like I said, get my oil change in the morning. I got another one of these little letters and this pisses me off. I told them to stop sending me stuff like this because it has like they put it's really just like a postcard no envelope no anything it literally has my customer id obviously my first and last name my address all of that and then literally it's like the first one has some more information on there but i keep telling them i'm not trading my car in like it says akira if you are interested in selling us your vehicle instead of service because i'm getting an oil change we really want the opportunity to buy your vehicle we desperately need used vehicles and are willing to make you a very best offer why would i give you my car by combining this buyback offer with our may sales pricing there's a good chance you will be leaving in a new car for less than what you may be paying today call me asap noel hartcock or whatever I'm not calling you stop sending me these i don't i literally emailed them i told them on the phone like when i go up there today i'm literally taking these up there not emailing me but stop sending me these when I, i'm gonna go up there and be like stop sending me these where, where is mr noel where he at because stop it that is so uh like obviously on your mail like you know it got your first and last name or whatever on there but like why are you putting my customer id on here like you know like i just feel like that is just so exposed having my information out there i do not like stuff like that so that pissed me off uh, i got a lot of stuff from my insurance company i don't know why i'm getting all of this stuff um this is crane hyundai of little rock mm, don't want that I'm about to go ahead, I'm about to open this stuff up and see what all this is and then finish up cooking. I'm about to eat and then we're gonna end out this vlog so I can start editing. It's I just want to pop on and show y'all. I mean, I was hungry. <laughs> the only thing I had today was Chick-fil-A and I kind of played over it because I'm not a person who can rush and eat. Like, basically, I start eating at like <clears throat> 12, 50, 12, 55. I know I had to go get my hair done at 1.30. Still had to take down my braids and everything like that. So, I'm not a person who can ever rush and eat. Like, when I cook before work and I only got like maybe 10 minutes before I leave the house, I won't be able to eat. I'm going to take my food with me. Um, it just makes me lose my appetite. So that's kind of what I was doing um, with the Chick-fil-A as well as I started my cycle, started my cycle um, 
Saturday. Today is Tuesday, so it's not too bad. Like, it's not heavy or anything, TMI, but it's not. So, I kind of, I'm not hungry, but I know I need to eat, if, especially if I'm trying to get back to 153 before I go to Cali next month. So, that's why I've been trying to do good. But, girl, I had a whole pork chop. I had two of those, um garlic little knot thingies i had definitely a little bit more than a cup of macaroni and then i had all those potatoes ate all of it mostly because like i said i didn't really eat today um so i know i did not hit my calorie goal but anyways it was good i'm gonna wrap up the rest of my food and save that for tomorrow um i'm gonna use that for my dinner tomorrow so that i don't have to cook anything um tomorrow's gonna be wednesday and i am off tomorrow <clears throat> and then for lunch i'll probably just cook me um like a bacon cheeseburger i do need to go to the store in the morning to get collard greens bacon well i need to do an order um for sam's club my order is like 40 something dollars oh i forgot i gotta get my oil changed at 11 that's definitely gonna hold me up i should have told them early in the morning um but usually when i get my oil change um i'll have somebody bring me back home and then when they're done, I'll like go pick up my car, like they'll come back and get me. So I'll probably do that because I was just gonna take my MacBook with me up there. But I'm like, you know, I really don't wanna stay up there that long. Cause it's usually like at least two hours, especially if it's gonna be 11 o'clock, I'm not gonna be like the first person up in there. So I'm just gonna see if they can just bring me back home. Um, if not, I'll just call my man. Actually, no, he gonna be with his, his family. Ugh. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, more story is. <laughs> I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. Um, and I'm about to put my dishes and stuff away. Um, as well as I'm about to like pin curl my hair up. I use bobby pins um, when I do this. Literally like wherever the curl is, you will just like roll the curl back up and then pin it to your hair. That's what I've normally been doing. Um, I don't like flexi rocks because they're so bulky. So bobby pins work fine for me. Um, especially because I like loose curls anyway. So I feel like in a couple days, these are gonna like fall and it's gonna be really, really cute. But I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> um, it is 10, 15. I'm gonna put my hair up, take a shower, all of that, do my little hygiene uh, and facial care and all of that. And then I think that's just gonna be it. I was gonna try to edit this vlog that you're watching now, but I know I recorded a lot of footage. So if you are a content creator or YouTuber or whatever, then you know you have to upload your, the way I edit, most of us edit, we upload our files to an external hard drive and then that has to download, which takes a minute if you have a lot of files and you know, it's just a lot. And then once it downloads to that, I insert it into CapCut. I think Final Cut Pro does this as well in iMovie. It has to render in all of your clips and like load them all. So that usually takes about 30 minutes to an hour or so as well. So that's why I'm like, it's already 10 and I gotta, you know, do my little hygiene care and all of that, put this food away or whatever. So that's why I just wanna wake up early in the morning to kind of edit before I go take my car to get an oil change because during that oil change if they do bring me back here i'll probably just lay down and like take like a little nap i'll probably set like a 30 minute timer or so um to take a little cat nap and then that'll get me up and ready and then i'll come back cook lunch and then tomorrow do whatever else i need to do i am about to write down a to-do list i know i told y'all every time i do a nothing go it's a plan but i do need to have some type of structure for these next two days which is wednesday and thursday because um i have one more collab that i need to do i literally am getting a wig delivered tomorrow that i have to promote um and yeah so i'm trying to get the vlogging just kind of trying to figure out my next two days because i go to work friday and saturday and then i think that sunday I think I go Monday and Tuesday and then I'll be off for like another 10 days. So I really want to get these two collabs out the way so I don't got to take that into next week. Like I just want to kind of have it be this week's of work. So yeah, basically I'm about to plan out my next two to three days. So tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I will probably spend editing as well. Like Friday morning before I go to work. And when I'm at work, I do take my laptop on downtime when I'm not with patients and stuff, I will try to edit but i at least need to have everything recorded and how i want it to be so yeah um, i'm about to end this vlog here don't forget to like the video comment and subscribe this is going to be the end of my 
realistic Sunday reset and then tomorrow I am actually going to start a whole new vlog and that's going to be my living along weekly vlog and we're going to be going through all of these packages over here I'm going to do a um, Amazon unboxing with y'all and that's why I wanted to go ahead and clean my apartment and stuff because I don't want to just add you know not mess but more mess to the mess so yeah everything's clean I think I showed y'all my bedroom's clean my living room's clean beauty room is clean ready for me to get in there and start showing these packages so yeah until my next video i will see you lovely spin bye guys